Bricks and Minifigs is your one-stop shop for all things Lego. Hit the link below to find a store near you. Hi, my name is Tyler, and this is my interpretation on D-Day. Um, it's not the biggest one around, but I tried to stay good with my scale. I used uh, Brickmania Higgins boats, um, kind of entering the water, troops pouring out. Um, not trying to get too gory, but definitely one of the deadliest battles. Uh, so I tried to interpret like how some people weren't even making it off the boats. Um, it was kind of just like a, a frenzy, diving off, trying to get as much cover. We got a guy up here who's made it the farthest. He's gonna light a Molotov and try to get this trench that's bidding overrun. Um, we got a guy here that moved up too quick and got shot by the tank. He's flying through the air. Um, I get a lot of like talk about how kind of intense the landscaping is. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show that off as good as I could because everything's getting shot, everything's getting blown up. So there was nothing perfect. Um, we got the tank traps, the barbed wire. Uh, those are good designs I've seen around. Um, and then I want to make, uh, eventually I want to make the mountain taller um, so it would be more historical, but um, we got the main German bunker up here. We got more Germans uh, pushing down to reinforce the front lines. Uh, we got a turret back here, uh, anti-aircraft taking down some of the planes that would be imagined above. Um, my favorite part is probably this trench run back here. Um, put a lot of time into it and making the trench kind of follow the curve as it goes down and stuff. Um, I got a little funny scene back there. We got some smokers using some citizen brick pieces, uh, a little police line, don't cross. Um, and yeah, just put a lot of work into it. Been adding on every year. Last year I only had one boat, now we got two. Um, but yeah, definitely one of my favorite builds I've made. So. I like the way you did the water too with kind of the two tones there to kind of create some extra texture. Yeah, the crashing and then as we only got like a little bit of light tan sand left because it's all getting overturned, it's getting that darker color to it. So, um, Where did the minifigs come from throughout the build? Uh, a few are mixed match, but most of them I'd have to think uh, Brick Mania. A lot, of, lot from them, I used their kits, uh, of course the figures came with them and then I just kept buying. Um, a few uh, citizen brick parts in there as well for the military figs, but the weapons are brick arms reloads and all that, of course. Now you've got a couple other builds here as well, so we'll take a look at this one next. What is happening in this scene? Uh, this is a smaller diorama I did, a kind of like a uh, slums interpretation. Um, the SWAT team's moving in to well, they've uh, locked down the city and put up uh, barriers so people don't get in. But as you can see, kind of like uh, attempt on like terrorist takeover kind of. And they've uh, set up their equipment and they're kind of figuring out how they're going to move into the city and stuff. Um, this one I, I like a lot just because nothing's perfect again. It's all kind of destroyed. Everything's been ran through, shot up or whatever it may be. But... Uh, a lot of like foliage kind of taken over um, and just nothing's left in good condition anymore. So they're just kind of fortifying it for the police. What was your approach with each of these buildings in terms of kind of different colors and pieces used to differentiate them a little bit? Um, it actually only started with the main one in the middle. It was kind of just a standalone little thing by itself. And then over the past few years, I've just kind of I don't know, it didn't really make sense at first, but I just kind of used a different color for every building and kind of pulled it together a little bit. Like, got a dark brown building back here that's there's not much left. It's been maybe hit with an explosion or something. Um, and then there is interiors on them, but mostly just um, the outside look for sure. Um, but kind of just using the colors I had available. Um, I have an abundance of light gray, so I was just kind of throwing in the uh, brighter colors to kind of spice up the light gray and stuff like that. And what pieces do you find work well to create kind of this worn down, kind of torn down look here as you're just kind of putting pieces all over to yeah. give that effect? Yeah, uh, definitely masonry brick I like just because it keeps that uh, natural brick look. Um, and there's a few splattered all over in different colors. Um, 
But other than that, I was just stacking plates in different ways or having pieces protrude and just kind of piping going everywhere. Um, just like there's nothing really perfect, like I said, and it's kind of been ran through for years, I guess. Um, so kind of like they refortified what they could to keep it away f or keep the police out, I guess. Yeah. And then you've got one final build down here going in a, a different direction. This is medieval. <laughs> Yeah, just a little mini castle. I got these. All the figures are from K-Town Brick, and uh, I just liked them so much I thought I'd throw something together real quick with them. Um, so not too much detail on this one. Kind of kept it simple. We got a alligator under the bridge eating the uh, <laughs> shield from one of them. Um, but just some smaller details, like on the inside, they got a little pig pen for their food. Um, but definitely just as I put it, a mini castle. Just something I threw together to show off the beautiful figures they make over there, so. Yeah. And do you post uh, your builds online at all? Where can people see kind of more of your work if they want to check that out? Uh, this is my Instagram right here. Um, and I do post, try to keep up with posting the new stuff I'm building. I'm a little bit behind right now, but I'm always answering questions if anyone has any. And um, yeah, I'm always on there just keeping up with other people's builds and stuff, so. So we've seen medieval and kind of like a, a futuristic apocalypse and then obviously the, the D-Day World War II build. So what are your plans for the future in terms of other eras or builds you might tackle? Um, I'm really, I really start small with a lot of my builds, like how I only had the first building at first and D-Day was a fraction of the size. Um, but every year I just keep adding on. So I might eventually next year just move into really increasing the size of the mountain and stuff and giving more of that real feat that the Americans had to overcome with climbing that to get up to the German forces and stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for taking us through all your builds here and for bringing these out to Brickworld. Appreciate it. Oh, thank you.